Hello, Marcus Lim here, and today I'm very excited to be presenting to you uh, the gallery edition of Daredevil Electra Love and War, <coughs> Frank Miller and Bill's Second Beach. I hope I got that pronunciation correct. Um, so, this is actually a reprint of um, two stories that uh, Frank Miller and Bill did in the 80s. Right, the two legendary uh, comic book uh, creators, Frank Miller and Bill Sekenvich, okay, uh, 1986 to be precise, okay, um, and so here it says two visionary creators combine their talents, okay, with spectacular results, um, and so it says uh, in a claim that graphic novel, Love in War, uh, and also Electra Assassin. So this actually collects two stories, not just one. Uh, Marvel graphic novel, Daredevil Love and War, and Elektra Assassin 1 to 8. Okay? Um, so even though this uh, collection is just called Love and War, it actually has both Love and War and Elektra Assassin. Okay? So this is the gallery edition. So before I unwrap this, I will just show you quickly the size difference from a, like a normal size comic book, right? So it's substantially bigger, which is pretty awesome, especially if you really like Bill Sekenvich, uh his artwork, which I guess is the main reason right, to um, that Marvel has decided to uh, uh, re re uh, publish these two uh, Daredevil stories in this format, so you can better appreciate uh, Bill's artwork. Alright, so let's have a look. Okay, there they are, Electra, Love and War. So I said, it's got two stories, Love and War and Assassin. Okay. Um, Alright, so we start with the a love and War. So this is a one-shot graphic novel um, and it is actually a, a kingpin story, right? This is a kingpin, that's his uh, wife and uh, uh, it's really about uh, the kingpin trying to help uh, his wife Vanessa. Um, and how does he do it? Well, he goes off to kind of, <laughs> well, he kind of captures the wife of a French doctor, right? And why he, why does he do that? Well, he wants the French doctor to sort of experience what he himself is experiencing, so that uh, the French doctor would actually do his very best to, I guess, find a solution for her ailment, her illness. At least that's the plan, right? Now Daredevil, Daredevil he does feature in a story but I have to say he's sort of not really the main character in this story more like a bit player, right? The, so this is really mainly a Kingpin story more so than a Daredevil story um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a Kingpin story and it's pretty short, as you can see, right? That's the end of it. And then, uh, <laughs> the main part, uh, not the main part, I mean the, the uh, bigger portion of this uh, collection is actually Electra Assassin, because it's got eight issues uh, collected here. Alright? And, <laughs> now Electra Assassin is, um, well, it's hard to say what it is about, but it's definitely about, um, you know, a, lo a lost tale from Electra's past. Because at this point in uh, continuity, back in the 80s, 18, 1986, Electra's actually dead, right, in the, from the Frank Miller run. So, so, but Frank Miller wanted to do more Ele Electra stories, and so I, this is like a lost tale of Electra. Uh, he decided to team up with Bill Second Witch again. So this is the second collaboration on Daredevil. Um, and you can see it's a 
kind of really trippy, isn't it? It's like a trippy fever dream. Uh, and it's actually, yeah, it's actually told from point of view of like Electra um, to start with. Right, these this first issue we see fragments of her memories. Right, um, you also get a glimpse of the beast, which is like the big bad of this mini series, this eight part series. Um, but yeah, it's kind of trippy, isn't it? Um, and it's sort of like presented as a sort of stream of consciousness style of storytelling which Frank Miller was, I guess, being really experimental at this point in time um, which, you know, I, I think Marvel wanted something like this too this was the epic imprint of Marvel which was trying to do things differently a bit more edgy, you know and so I think they sort of hit on something pretty pretty interesting, right? Um, now you can see here at this point, uh, yeah, we, we've got, uh, uh, yeah, so there's something about, uh, Electra's psychic connection as well to this guy here, who's like an agent of SHIELD, like Garrett, who's sort of like a, I don't know, like a cyborg or something. <laughs> um, yeah, and there's some kind of connection or bond between Electra and Garrett and uh, eventually they sort of like join forces to go up against the beast and I think as the story unfolds we are told that the beast is actually kind of controlling um, the uh, the, I think the incumbent president and a senator right so who's uh, out to trigger like a nuclear war which <laughs> a, a theme that's quite popular I guess in the 80s <clears throat> but yeah um, this uh, yeah as you can see this Stream of Consciousness style, as I mentioned, right, suits the artwork uh, very well. Um, but I would have to say it's probably not to everyone's taste. And personally, uh, it, for me, it kind of like grows on me, right? Um, but I guess with like a gallery edition like this, it lets you take in the artwork more and makes you appreciate it uh, much more as well. Okay, so I'm gonna just skip quickly through this last uh, couple of um, pages. <coughs> and then let's get to the extras. Alright, so this is like, the first extra is an introduction from the original Electra Assassin Track paperback. Okay, and then we also have, uh, what is this, Return of Frank Miller by Shirley Fitz, excerpted from Marvel Age number 36. Okay, some sketches here by Bill Sakonvich. Original art, covers, which is always nice, all covers from the 8 issues Electra Assassin series, biography, poster sketch, poster painting, Assassin hardcover dust jacket art, track cover back, cover gallery uh, by Bill. Okay. Yeah, more stuff. Yeah, quite a lot of uh, extras in this collection, which is 
Nice. All right, and that's it. Um, Daredevil, Electra, Love, and War. All right. Uh, so yeah, for for me, I've never actually read uh, these two stories, but since I um, follow Frank Miller quite a bit, uh, and so when I saw this, I decided to just give it a go. Um, as I mentioned, it's sort of trippy <laughs> style. Uh, this one. But I guess, yeah, it's interesting. Definitely uh, worth uh, looking into. Um, especially if you're also like a Daredevil fan. Although, one thing to note is that Daredevil doesn't feature much right, in these two stories. It's mainly like a Kingpin story and also the Electra story. So there you have it. Daredevil, Electra, Love and War. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Do Please uh, like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in another video.